Well, good morning. 10 to 7, Easter Monday. I'm at Tichi Tamba Wetland Reserve. I've been walking for about 10 minutes. I've already photographed a white-faced heron and a beautiful spider's web. Now, I know this is a wildlife photo walk, but when I walk around, I keep a very good eye of what's around me. And this spider web was just glowing in the early morning sun. It was just beautiful. Took a few more steps and what's in front of me? Some little grey kangaroos. Just great. Got a couple of great shots. Now, I just turned on my Osmo because right in front of me here, there are some grey kangaroos. So let's see if they're still there. This is beautiful. But I can't take photos and do video at the same time. So let's just walk around with a bit of video. So this is the walk on the way to the bird hide. And the kangaroos were just in front of us here. So let's hope that they're still around. They shouldn't be that far from us here. Now when I come to Tichitamba, I like walking counterclockwise because I want the sun behind me. So for the first 15, 20 minutes, I have the sun in front of me. But for the rest of the walk, I have the sun behind me, which is the best way. At least the birds are not silhouetted. You got the sun on your back, you end up with some great photos. So like I said, we're on the way to the bird hide. We just passed the main track that takes us all the way down to Tichitamba. So this is a bit of a dog's leap. But sometimes I end up with some great photos of bird life around here. But for me, when I do these photo walks, it's not just about photographing wildlife. I like being out in Mother Nature. It just resets me. It's just beautiful, just walking, listening to the bird sounds, looking around, just being at one with nature. So just to my right here, there's a small group of kangaroos. Wow. Now I know it's a bit hard to see. We'll just wait till we get around the side here. They're just behind this big dead tree there. There's three, four. So nice. Beautiful. This is what I love. There we go. They're just going to slowly hop. The one that's crouching in the middle here, that looks like a male. And he's surrounded by young females. There they go. Hop away. Look at that. So nice. Wow. This would make a great photo. This is the bird hide, so this is the Pine River here. Sometimes you end up with some great photos of the egrets and all that on the other side of the river. So this gives you a view of the bird hide. You can hear kingfishers around. So now we're just walking along the river bank here. We're going to do a small dog's leg back towards the main path of the Tichitamba Wetland Reserve. You can hear a lot of the birds, but the problem is sometimes they're just way up in the trees. So when that happens, I just rather just listen to the birds. I can't remember the last time I was here, but it was months and months ago, and it was so dry back then. Now there's just so much grass because it's been raining so much. So here we're, oh, look at that. A rufous fantail just in front of me here. Oh, we've got a fly catcher up here. I'm going to put my camera away and take some photos. 8.30am, I've been walking on and off for about an hour and a half. Got a couple of nice birds. But there was one bird that I was really hoping to photograph and that was the paradox. And I got at the start a few photos and it was just in the branches think like oh well at least i got a photo of it walked from the bird hide all around through the swamp and then back up along the river and just as i got along the river i could hear its call and this is the first time i was able to associate the call to the paradol and it was just calling away calling away and looked up and right there on the stick all by itself there it was got quite close to it and I got a couple of great photos of it. So, real happy about that. Got a couple of other photos as well. Not much bird life here this morning, but there never is here. You come here just to walk around and enjoy nature. I did see a lot of kangaroos though, and I met a few people and they go like, there's not that many kangaroos around. Well, they're all in the swamp. That's why you can't see them. An hour and a half's walk for me. That's about it for me. 
So I'm going to go home, have a coffee, some bacon and eggs. Now if you come down here and you're pressed for time, don't worry about the bird hide. Like you can take a walk to the bird hide if you want because you'll see kangaroos down there. But if you just want to see birds, just follow the river, do the loop and go home. And you're going to see quite a lot of birds. If you want the kangaroos though, go out to the bird hide because that's where they are. But birds, just walk along the river. I did the whole loop. Why? I wanted a bit of exercise. I hadn't been feeling well, so I really need a bit of exercise. So did an hour and a half walking. Flew my drone. You'll see a bit of video of Tichitamba this morning. Let's just walk along here the, the track and I'll show you what the track looks like. So this is the track along the river. You can hear the boats going around, crows are crowing, rainbow lorikeets calling out. Getting a bit overcast now. Now we're coming to the spot where I saw the paradol and I'll show you why I was saying that I got such a great photo of it. This tree here, right at the top there that's where the paradol was so you can see with the blue sky it was just magic great photo so this part takes you back to the car park but when you're coming down if you hoik right here you're going to do a counterclockwise loop around this path if you follow the river you do a clockwise loop around and this is where you most likely find all your birds so you can hear there's just birds everywhere Now if you're like me and you want to do the big loop from the bird hide all the way around to the swamp you just keep walking along the track and it takes you all along the swamp and then you're coming back along here along this edge of the, all these trees here. You might think that you're lost but as long as you stay on the edge of the trees here along the swamp this is where it's going to bring you back. I just kept following the trees but it's a decent hike but when I was at the swamp I got some nice egret photos and a couple of waders so that's it nine o'clock I've walked for close to two hours on and off had a great time the bird life wasn't that much but I was out and about had a great time if you like the video give it a big thumbs up 
If there's any place around Brisbane that you'd like me to do a wildlife photo walk, leave it in the comment box below. Enjoy wildlife photography and I'll see you next time.